Hello, health enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a critical topic that affects millions of people worldwide, iron deficiency and anemia. We'll explore what these conditions are, how to diagnose them, their causes, and effective ways to increase iron levels. So let's get started. What is iron deficiency? Iron deficiency occurs when your body lacks enough iron to produce sufficient hemoglobin, a protein in red blood cells responsible for carrying oxygen throughout your body. This can lead to iron deficiency anemia, a condition where your body doesn't have enough red blood cells to carry oxygen efficiently. Without enough iron, your red blood cells become smaller and paler, reducing their ability to transport oxygen. This can cause fatigue, weakness, and a host of other symptoms. What is anemia? Anemia, on the other hand, is a broader condition where you don't have enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissues. Iron deficiency is the most common cause, but there are other types too, including vitamin B12 deficiency anemia, folate deficiency anemia, and anemia of chronic disease. Biomarkers for diagnosis. To diagnose iron deficiency and anemia, healthcare providers look at several biomarkers, Let's break them down. Hemoglobin, Hb, indicates the oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood. Low levels suggest anemia. Hematocrit, HCT, the percentage of red blood cells in the blood. Low levels can indicate anemia. Serum iron, measures the amount of iron in the blood. Ferritin, indicates the stored iron in the body. Low ferritin levels suggest iron deficiency. Total iron binding capacity, TIBC, measures the blood's capacity to bind iron with transferrin. High TIBC suggests iron deficiency. Transferrin saturation, the percentage of transferrin, iron transport protein that is bound with iron. Low levels suggest iron deficiency. Scene transition, causes of anemia. Anemia can be caused by various factors, including iron deficiency, due to inadequate dietary intake, poor absorption or blood loss, for example, menstruation or gastrointestinal bleeding. Vitamin deficiencies, lack of vitamin B12 or folate, chronic diseases such as kidney disease, cancer, or rheumatoid arthritis, genetic disorders, conditions like thalassemia or sickle cell anemia, bone marrow disorders such as leukemia or aplastic anemia. Scene transition, understanding biomarkers. Now let's discuss some specific scenarios involving iron levels and biomarkers. Normal hemoglobin but low iron and ferritin. This may indicate early-stage iron deficiency or iron depletion without anemia. It's crucial to increase dietary iron intake and monitor levels regularly. Low hemoglobin and high ferritin, often seen in anemia of chronic disease or inflammation, where ferritin is elevated as an acute phase reactant. Treating the underlying condition is essential, low hemoglobin, low iron, and low ferritin. This is indicative of iron deficiency anemia. Increasing iron intake through diet or supplements is necessary. Scene transition, increasing iron levels. Let's talk about how to increase your iron levels. Here are some effective strategies. Dietary changes, iron-rich foods, include red meat, poultry, fish, legumes, tofu, spinach, and iron-fortified cereals. Vitamin C enhances iron absorption. Pair iron-rich foods with vitamin C sources like citrus fruits, tomatoes, and bell peppers. Avoid inhibitors. Reduce consumption of coffee, tea, and high calcium foods with iron-rich meals, as they can inhibit iron absorption. Iron supplements, ferrous sulfate, commonly prescribed but can cause gastrointestinal side effects. Ferrous gluconate and ferrous fumarate, other forms of iron supplements that may be better tolerated. Iron polysaccharide complexes, easier on the stomach but might be more expensive. Intravenous iron therapy, for severe deficiency or when oral supplements are not effective or tolerated. Scene transition, traditional remedies. In addition to conventional treatments, some traditional remedies can also help boost iron levels. Here are a few Chinese herbs that are known to be beneficial. Dong Kui, Angelica sinensis, known to improve blood circulation and help in cases of anemia. Deng Shen, Codonopsis pilosula, used to boost energy and increase red blood cell production. He Shou Wu, Polygonum multiflorum, traditionally used to nourish the blood and enhance vitality. Romania, Romania glutinosa, often used in formulas to tonify the blood and support kidney function. Scene transition, 
What to do if you have developed anemia? If you've been diagnosed with anemia, here are some steps you can take. Consult a healthcare provider. To determine the cause of anemia and receive appropriate treatment. Regular monitoring. Keep track of hemoglobin, ferritin, and other relevant biomarkers. Dietary adjustments. Incorporate iron-rich foods and vitamin C to enhance absorption. Follow supplement guidelines. Take iron supplements as prescribed and be patient, as it may take several weeks to notice an improvement. Address underlying conditions. Treat any underlying diseases or conditions contributing to anemia. Cut to host back in the living room summarizing the video. Understanding iron deficiency and anemia is crucial for maintaining good health. By recognizing the symptoms, getting the right tests, and making dietary and lifestyle changes, you can effectively manage these conditions. Remember, always consult with a healthcare provider for personalized advice and treatment plans. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more health tips and information. Stay healthy.